Hey, I'm Noah James. Thanks for watching. If you're wondering why I'm dressed so stupid, it's because I feel like shit. I thought maybe, I don't know, I'd feel a little better if I did something silly. Not so far. As you know, I struggle a lot with depression and anxiety. Uh, often I find it hard to take care of myself. I eat badly, I don't exercise, I drink too much. Yeah, everyone knows that. Last night I only slept for about two hours. I was shaking all night, anxious. Money problems, all kinds of things. Money problems because I can't work due to my panic attacks. You know, and then having no money makes me more anxious, more likely to panic, less able to work. You know. Things have gotten pretty bad lately. It's been a few days even since I brushed my hair. Uh, I've been, uh, yeah, I slipped back into a major depression and anxiety crisis, I guess you could say. Today I'm trying to bring myself out of it. Today I ate vegetables and lentils. I didn't add a whole pile of oil or salt to it. Good. Today I am not going to be drinking. Good. I did have to take clonazepam to function at all. I was freaking out for no reason as soon as I woke up. Today uh, I did a little bit of exercise. I've not been sticking to my plan at all. I made a month long plan. Uh, I think I did it twice. I plan to do it again when Zachy gets home. Maybe we can do some together because he wants to take better care of himself too. I rejoined that choir I used to be in. I was really, really, really discouraged about it. Uh, one of the songs is really hard to learn. I feel like the songs are out of my range, but maybe later I'm gonna try to listen again. I have my, uh, my keyboard out you know, to try to help me learn the notes. I have an appointment with my doctor February 1st, so in uh, two weeks. Um, to talk to him about my anxiety. I really find that it is responsive to uh, medication. Unfortunately, it's benzos that help, and you know, they're addictive, and doctors hesitate to prescribe them, but they're really the only things that uh, help me function when I'm really in a crisis. I'm hoping he'll be willing to give me a prescription, not to take every day, just as needed. I mean, I think then I'd be able to work again. At least if I woke up in a panic, I could take one and, you know, worst case, be late. Instead of lying on the couch, shaking, crying, unable to do anything, unable to call, can't even tell them I'm not coming. I mean, that's how I lost my last job, right? So, for now, I guess you could say my recovery plan is that I really just want to take care of myself inside and outside. I've never been in worse shape in my life. I am horrified at how I've let myself get. Um, I didn't realize how bad it was until I was looking at older pictures of me with no shirt on and I was like, oh, okay, I thought I was really ugly and out of shape then, but now uh, I look back and I'm like, oh, no, I was better. So, yeah, I want to try to get back in shape. I want to, not just that, but eat well. I'm going to be honest, I used to take uh, pills that would help me keep weight off. I don't ever want to again. I want to actually be healthy, not just to look good. Eating well, exercising, limiting or eliminating my alcohol consumption, that's drinking poison. So, I'm also trying to go vegan, which is tough, especially with Zaki's uh, dietary restrictions already. Good thing I like to cook. So I think all of this is gonna be good for my body, and if I feel better about how I look, I think I'll feel better in my mind. And another issue that I see in myself is, I, I'm not a liar, but I have a hard time being honest, and I cannot be assertive. I wanna to learn to be honest and assertive. I wanna say what I think, and mean what I say, and, not feel guilty for other people's reactions to what I say. Because 
your reaction to my needs is not my responsibility. If somebody wants something from me and I don't feel that I can give it or I don't feel that I should give it, I need to learn to say no. Politely, of course, but I need to learn to say no. I, I was taught at a young age never to say no, ever, because you're selfish and mean if you do. Okay. It's not selfish or mean to say no. Actually taking care of yourself is selfless. If you are falling apart, how can you help anybody else? Right now, I'm being supported financially and emotionally by my partner because I've neglected myself to the point where I can't even work and I can't even function. That is selfish. Taking care of myself is important for the people in my life. It will make them happier. My friends worry about me. My parents worry about me. The rest of my family worries about me. I worry about me. People online that I've never even met worry about me. And it's all because of self-neglect. And that is selfish. If I take care of myself, I'm doing everybody a favor. And I really want it to start today. So my goals today are not to clean up the house. I don't know how we get it messy so quickly. It's almost immediate. I clean it. Two days later, it's like a bomb went off. Anyways, I plan to take care of myself. Uh, I have eczema that gets worse when I get stressed and anxious, and lately, well, it's been bad. I've not been treating it at all, so I'm very uncomfortable. So I want to take a nice bath, use my eczema medication, take care of my skin, my hair. You know, maybe these things sound silly, but I need it. I mean, to not have brushed my hair in a few days, that's ridiculous. Uh, it's not fair to me, it's not fair to the people around me. I need to make changes. So, bath, take care of myself, eat right all day, no alcohol at all. When Zaki gets home, we'll do more exercise together. And just take it easy. Play with my keyboard, maybe try to learn my choir songs like I said. Watch some YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, maybe keep playing some Super Mario World. Nice, calm things for myself. And honestly, it's such, such a nice day out. So, yeah, just, I want to enjoy the day. So, I mean, this video may not have been funny or interesting or engaging, but it's my therapy for myself to tell you about my thoughts. Anyways, I plan to have a good day. I hope you have a good day as well. If ever there's anything you guys want to hear about, let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching.